Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new BMW X1 and I just think that it will be very interesting to show you a few accessories and not only the few accessories but also the interior exterior. I have tried to review this new X1 BMW X1 um, in all details and I give you also the price and all that information. So um yeah i guess we will start with the exterior of the car as always uh actually this video it's really special guys because i just want to give you um and i want to show you how this car look like with uh, all those accessories uh, also here we have the m sport line uh, the bumper in the front it's m you will see it in the moment here are a few shots from the from the back uh, here it's also the price and all that information we have here the 2 liter engine and 119 one horsepower um, also here you have all the options that come with the car you can pause the video and read it out uh, the price of this car with all discount it's around 59,000 francs around the same in dollar around if I can say like 55,000 euro uh, around there will be the price also the consumption 8.2 liter uh, on this engine uh, so I guess um, that's kind of a typical consumption in this range um, the car come with full LED lights in the front you can see from here uh, LED light and also the daylight uh, it's uh, right now on the blinkers uh, the turn signals also LED you can see it here a little bit close up so they look pretty nice uh, also the BMW LED their signature uh, it put the signature right there on the uh, headlamps so you can see it really clearly here also on the mirrors um, the turn signal is LED light we have black mirrors down there under the mirror it's an LED light I will show you later I like the fact that even in the interior the mirrors have this glossy black color and they look pretty nice right here uh, on the edges I think it make much more sense also in the back LED light it's look um, typical for BMW pretty nice and uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it has a very very nice shape now here you can add some um, accessories to the car and I will give you also the price in a second to all the accessories that you can buy for this uh, new BMW X1 also here you can take this bicycle stuff there if you're interested to see how the lights and the turn signals are there are not LEDs just on the car uh, from the side I think you already know the car because you see it in my other review if you didn't see my other full review with BMW X1 check it out uh, on my channel let me close the the lights right now actually I will leave the daylight on because maybe you would like to see it uh, one more time the way it looks we will go close it we'll make a close up here and you can see better uh, the way the lights look uh, I always like this LED light from BMW they look so nice the front of the car look gorgeous also the front grille look pretty nice um, it looks like a powerful car also the car if you see inside the grill there we have that uh, clappers that they are close when it's cold outside to warm up the engine faster and it's open when it's very warm outside to cool down the engine so this is the latest system from uh, BMW nice lines nice design on the hood there in the middle on the windscreen we have the BMW connect drive is the camera and the raining sensors the camera help the car keep in the lane for lane assist and also reading the traffic speed limit for example uh, go here go down here and we have this LED light even on the fog lamps 
beautiful design on the bumper as I told you is the M uh, M bumper that come on BMW uh, these days also some air intakes here on the side that help the aerodynamic of the car uh, also I can show you better on this side the air go inside there and come out uh, on the side here around the wheels um, and um, this help a lot the handling and also the aerodynamic the consumption we have six parking sensors the car have six parking sensors in the front and I don't know about you but I like very much this uh, bumper design in the front here it's just uh, nothing but in the middle it is just a grill an air intakes where the air go inside to the engine so to cool down the, the the engine better so that's the front of the car let's go a little bit forward guys and let me show you here on the side and I want to tell you that this part right here around the edges of the car this plastic part it's very helpful because it protects the paint of the car in time from rust from stones from scratch and it will it can be uh, it can be changed very easily you can see it has two screws around a few screws here and it can go you can get down very easy and change and the paint of the car will be protected for a long time even down here around the edges uh, it has the same plastic the same protection edges um, and I think they are they are really good uh, and practical also the rims look great we have brake discs ventilated brakes discs in the front uh, 19 inch rims you can see right here uh, I think you can see it so 19 inch rims and I think those 19 inch rims they fit perfectly on this um, BMW X1 I don't know about you guys but I I like the way they they fit on the car also we have the M logo here on the right side uh, here again you can see around the edges of the the windows we have glossy plastic uh, BMW uh, add almost to all new cars this glossy plastic around the edges of the windows and I like it very much I like the way it looks uh, also the handles keyless and the handles um, lock on lock just with your key in your pocket uh, it's very simple to use also great sound to the doors when you close it very good quality uh, on the doors going forward on the right side we have right here the tank here you can fuel the tank and again the same story in the back the same plastic around the edges same protection going close here we have smaller brake discs because uh, as you know the car 80% uh, of the brakes it manage in the front so in the back you don't need such a big brake discs I like very much this antenna radio antenna look very nice it has a nice design going in the back you already see the LED light in the back also this interesting um, shape of the bumper here also in the back the car have only four parking sensors not six like in the front and I like this shape very much here and also the exhaust pipe look great it has one in the right and one in the left the aluminum around it look pretty nice really really sporty and uh, powerful in my opinion even if it's not in the trend these days uh, it's still a very very uh, powerful uh, tools and um, it look really really sporty and nice here we have some storage space guys um, in, in the dashboard let me open up the trunk I want to show you the engine as well so let's go to the engine uh, open up the trunk right here and you can see the engine I know most of you want to check this engine out and right here 
uh, is the engine I don't know for most of you maybe it's not so important but yeah maybe some of you want to know that twin power turbo from BMW that's the engine now let me go forward guys I want to show you also this LED light right here on the mirrors uh, and also in the handles the car come with LED light in the night it's very useful um, it makes a nice ambient exterior light <clears throat> the trunk it's quite big as well um, in my opinion it's it's pretty big and uh, you can see here in the left side you have some space there where you can put your stuff and also on the right side uh, it has also a 12 volt port in the trunk right here and uh, some storage space where you can put your repair kit or a medical kit and under here we have some aluminium I like very much the cars that come with aluminium right here at the entrance in the car under the floor I will show you in a second you have huge huge space there but before we go there under the floor I want to show you that it has also this protection that you can buy it extra when you go camping for example and under the floor look at this guys around 40 25 centimeter I think deepness there and it's it's a huge huge space here I didn't expect to find so much space in the trunk so you can carry really a lot of stuff with this x1 here are also the accessories all those accessories you can buy it extra if you want from BMW it was just like that so it can protect your bump while you carry stuff or you stay outside uh, on a picnic or something like that also up there you can see the lift gate in the back it's automatic the triangle it's also up there on the door in the trunk and yeah that's the trunk I will go to show you also on the roof you can buy this extra um, BMW trunk that you can add it on the roof and it's it's a really sporty car family car also the LED light right there on the roof spoiler you already know about that uh, if you didn't if you want to see the car from the exterior if you want to see exterior design of the car much better check out the full review I have another full review with this new BMW X1 there you can see it much better but um, in this one I just want to show you one more time um, the features and the accessories that you can buy it also here in the back you have some plastic some storage space behind the driver's seat then uh, some LED light on the floor on the legs then you have two USB-C ports right here in the middle and some vents the vents look a little bit oldish you know like uh, old ages I wish it was a little bit different like we find it on the Mercedes for example uh, these days on the Mercedes GLA for example or GLB uh, Isofix for kids and the classic design of the seats and leather from BMW um, I like them they are very very um, comfortable even for long trips super super comfortable seats here we have two cup holders in the middle in the back very useful as well also classic the same as BMW use us with so yeah what can I say um, you can fold down even the middle part uh, if you want to carry long items for example you can carry your skis and you still can be able to have two passengers in the back again pretty practical uh, up here we have some um, LED light in yellow on the roof handle hooks and yeah pretty pretty cool uh, and simple I like very much the windows there in the back guys I think you can see it right there the windows there they're big and uh, it come inside the car a lot of light and uh, I like that also plenty of space on my knees right here you can see the seats are 
in my driving position and the passenger sits a little bit uh, backwards and I still have huge huge space here huge space in the new X1 um, I like the space I feel like I'm in a big SUV and also the position of the seat it's great the visibility on the window great um, it's just perfect I, I, I like it very much and even in the middle let's go in the middle look at the space huge space on my head left stretch my hand in the right side almost stretch the hand there three people here no problem um, to stick it in and also the, the, the legs room it is gorgeous plenty of leg room um, yeah I like it so I think you make an idea about the space in the back those are all the accessories guys um, that I just want to show you in the car you can buy a tablet you can buy some uh, bag here uh, that you can put it on the seat and for shirt we will go now in the front and I will show you also the dashboard and um, yeah the steering wheel the multimedia system and all that uh, stuffs in the uh, front there now I want to show you before going in the front also the space here uh, with the seats all seats folding down so you can see much better the space it is uh, gorgeous a lot of space even there in the front on the legs room so you can see how much space it left uh, on the legs you can put there plenty plenty of stuff right here even if you have the seats folding down you can still put some uh, stuff there on the legs room so it's pretty pretty uh, practical from the back you can see right now the space here it's pretty big so uh, yeah a practical car great space now to make an idea I want to show you also from uh, from the middle the seats are in the front almost folding down so you have a flat floor there I think you can even slip there in the car um, if you need to you can fold down the seats and yeah you can pretty much slip there also you can buy a BMW bicycle if you want I will show you in a moment also the price for that and you can buy also this protection as I showed you before the trunk protection uh, and a lot of accessories that I will show you right now something that I promised at the beginning of this video here you have all the accessories that you can buy for this new um, BMW X1 and not only you can buy it for all other uh, BMW so you can read it out also the code is there the price you can pause the video and read it and you find all the information and the prices right there guys now let's go in the front the cockpit it's not the latest one uh, it's the previous one but it still look nice you have all the information right there in the front um, also you have the speed limit traffic speed limit reader down there the consumption and all other information also the multimedia system it's as well not the latest this so um, it's the previous version and yeah as you can see probably most of you already know it um, it's it's kind of complex you have all the information here all the settings of the car you can change and see all kind of information for example here is the consumption the computer the board computer you can see the 13 was the last consumption uh, of the car also you can see different um, different option and different consumption um, values for example the navigation it's one of the best navigation on the market um, out there it's working really fast and the hardware behind the multimedia is pretty good also you can uh, use the touchscreen or you can use this wheel down here to control the display as on Audi or Mercedes uh, the same here in the BMW you can control the multimedia system from the uh, wheel and the buttons there you have shortcut buttons stuff like that um, yeah the navigation as I told you one of the best out there on the market so it is 
uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I don't want to go too much into detail with this multimedia system um, because it's an old one but when you load a destination you have to know that it is working really fast and it's loading the destination in no time that's something that you should keep in mind uh, it's pretty impressive also you can go to home you have the radio here in multimedia you can connect your phone as well uh, you can see even the weather because the car is connected to the internet so uh, you have the option to see even the weather here so I guess this is all because I don't want to make it too long um, most of you uh, already know it and uh, I have a different special video for this multimedia system from BMW so uh, I don't want to make this video too long now, um, the layout and the dashboard of this uh, X1, it look great. Uh, I think you have a great visibility from the driver point of view. And also, uh, the steering wheel is fantastic. You have a great grip, great quality. Uh, it look also very, very nice, in my opinion. You have the M uh, logo right there on the steering wheel. You have here on the left side, the controllers for the lane assist for example also the cruise control and then uh, on the right side you have the volume the speaker the telephone and yeah it's pretty simple but the quality and the grip it's great start stop engine button right here and also the start stop engine button um, the dashboard it's all soft everywhere here in the middle you have two vents this is the button for the um, safety settings that you find it from BMW or just here for example the lane assist and yeah all that stuff the vents feel good as you touch it good quality not as good as BMW uh, as Mercedes for example but they are still nice here on the dashboard soft material that's something that really impressed me uh, and ambient light you can see the red ambient light inside the dash the glow box pretty big you have a light there no LED it's just a normal bulb light I was expect a little bit more quality I mean um, inside here from the vents in terms of vents I was expect that but I like very much the quality on the doors and the ambient light on the doors look look great um, but I like uh, also I would like also that they can change the vents I wish it was different uh, Harman Kardon speakers amazing sound in the car no wonder about that um, also you can see the ambient light even there in the back on the doors I think I forget to show you but you can see it right now uh, they look nice and also um i like the steering wheel it's great visibility is great something that i don't like it's only the vents i will change the vents really i wish they were different uh, better i don't know how but different here is the light controllers pretty simple the buttons for the fog lamps and soft material everywhere on the dash even down here so that's something that to keep in mind also you can uh, adjust the steering wheel from here very simple you have a button here you know what is this button it's for heating steering wheel so in the winter you can press this button and the steering wheel will be heated up so also you can see the position of adjustable uh, steering wheel you can adjust it in many position the way you want it again great stuff soft material everywhere the car come also with a head-up display something that I want to show you as well um, this is really impressive uh, and really helpful because this the cockpit is not so uh, digitalized and so complex you have this head-up display that will be gorgeous perfect for this car you have the navigation the speed the speed limit traffic there on the head-up display so this is pretty good and very useful as well so uh, mirror up here pretty um, 
nice but yeah not the best on the market some led light up here on the roof sos button and other than that nothing else no glass support nothing just uh, just like that also here you have an led light and a small mirror the microphone on the roof handle good quality on the roof um, i like the quality on the roof but there are things that i will really improve about this car if i compare this um, bmw x1 with the mercedes gla for example or glb yeah the mercedes has a little bit better quality also you have an armrest here you can open it up you can put your phone here but you can also put it up if you want but yeah i don't know not a big fan of that also plenty of space in the middle usb-c port right here uh, electronic handbrake finally bmw bring that to the cars oh in mass production i mean i want to see it on the old car these days S echo sport mode different driving mode there, right there um, and also the stick it's not the latest one the crystal or stuff like that but it's still nice it's still the bmw was come with first that come with a nice stick in the middle so i have to respect that uh, also the key if you're wondering nice key very light it has also the m logo here on the side two cup holders in the middle and then usb port right there in the middle and a 12 volt port a little bit upper so you can also close this up here pretty simple the upper part you can close it only little and the down part you can close it more so you can close both just like that yeah and here is the climatic system the car come with heated seat uh, heated steering wheel pretty easy to control the climatic system in the middle um, it has physical button so for most of you guys that complain about the touchscreen buttons on the climatic system this will be a great deal a big deal so i, I guess this is great it's simple to use the climatic system um, and then on the dashboard i forget to show you the speaker and the vents soft material all over the dash the dash has a nice design i like the dash but it's still bmw still keep it simple to this x1 i wish it was a little bit more like the new x5 or x6 uh the interior there it's much better a bigger improve uh improvement to the x5 or x6 but the x1 they keep it low not like not the same um uh, it's doing mercedes because mercedes it's keeping the same almost the same quality from the gla piece until gle or yeah c for example anyway i don't want to go too much into details but those seats are fantastic i love the bmw seats in the front the driver's seat it's gorgeous the, the passenger seat also gorgeous this is something that i like about this car a lot the seats uh, are great quality and the leather it's also great great quality the doors big windows great visibility also the doors have fantastic quality soft material almost everywhere and leather also ambient light fantastic uh, you have great speakers great sound inside the car here you can see soft material everywhere here we have leather and leather on the armrest um, nice design here uh, on the handle i like very much the speaker the gray the, the, the color and the design of the speaker it's so so much into bmw you know immediately it's a bmw you just have to show the doors and you know what the car it is plenty of space in the in the door band the button to open the electric uh, trunk electric windows electric adjustable mirrors uh, great quality on the doors that's something that i like even in the back here you can fold down the windows all the way down it's made from two parts but still look great and you have a good visibility from the back the same great quality as in the front even here in the back on the doors the same design on the 
speakers and then the same great quality and soft materials everywhere and uh, also big door bands here I see cars that doesn't have so much space in the front uh, that this BMW have here anyway guys this was the video I hope you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and thank you again for watching see you soon in the next one bye guys